one of the things they love about St. Andrews is it's just this automatic sense of welcoming, warmth. Everybody's very friendly, very open to getting to know each other. It's really nice to be able to have that really one-on-one -on -one learning experience with the teachers. There's a little bit of everything, so I can play the sports I like, uh, I can still challenge myself academically. Just comfort the second I walk into this door. Yeah, I definitely think the rigor and the challenge is balanced with the my joy and happiness myself. St. Andrews really helped me kind of start to learn that balance between academics, athletics, and just life. There's so many resources that just make it really easy to go and get help. There's a really close bond between students and teachers here. I graduated in St. Andrews in 1999, and St. Andrews always kind of felt like home. More than a decade ago, St. Andrews made a commitment to more fully understand the research that lies behind how students actually learn. People genuinely want to learn, to engage, to care for students, to educate students, to be the best that they can be um, for the world that we want. If you think about it, how we teach as educators should be driven by how students learn. The students of St. Andrews are eager to learn. They have empathy and compassion. And so it turns out that, that, that just one uh, adult really can make a measurable difference to students' lives. And what I love about the St. Andrews faculty is they are hungry for the research. Yeah. Our number one goal is to train all our teachers, preschool through 12th grade, in the most promising research and strategies in the science of how the brain learns. The teachers are actually quite transparent with what they get taught and then they tell us, oh, we were taught this so we can better help you. I think it all starts with every teacher understanding that a student will have their brain with them in every class period and they will also bring their, their identity as well. You get to know the teachers on a really personal level and they get to know you. <laughs> That's awesome. And as long as we are thinking about validating each student's identity and sense of belonging, we're gonna get the best out of our students and help them meet their maximum potential. There is actually now research that says if a student feels that they belong, they will achieve more. We really want to build this bridge between diversity, equity, and belonging and mind and brain education. Belonging touches both of those key ideas. Belonging to, is a little deeper than inclusion. It's a little deeper than just having membership in a community. Being a black student at St. Andrews, um, I've definitely had different experiences than the white students, but I've always felt comfortable at St. Andrews. We're willing to talk about bias, we're willing to talk about race, and we're willing to be uncomfortable in those moments. I talked to the kids, you know, uh, when I came back from my 20th reunion, and it's a lot of difficult conversations happening. But I think St. Andrews is doing a great job of trying to address some of these issues. In 2021, we need to recognize that diversity, equity, belonging is for everyone. That it is something that we all can embrace and we can all be practitioners in. We all want to belong to something. And one of the great things um, at St. Andrews is people leave and come back, our alumni leave and come back, and they still have this great sense of belonging to this community. Coming back 20 years later, it is such a warm feeling to see so many teachers who have taught me and having the same kind of aura about them, the same warmth that I felt. I think that feeling of warmth is kind of almost what attracts people to the school. It's that, you know, they can be themselves, they can be who they want to be. It doesn't really matter who they want to be because they can be that. That sense of emotional well-being, that actually underlies all the cognitive growth, that underlies all the learning that we see from our students every year. That's the, the magic, although it's really research, not magic, of this school and of this faculty.